This time on the show, learn to fly a quadcopter from the pros. Darren heads down to Santa Cruz and meets with the folks at Quad Shot. Plus, frightening the TSA, out of spec cables, and a whole lot more this time on Hack 5. This segment is brought to you by GoToAssist. Hello, welcome to Hack 5. My name is Dion Kitchen, and this is your weekly dose of Technolust. And I am heading north on the California Pacific Coast Highway. I'm on Highway 1. This is so exciting. To my right, the miss, the one and only Mr. Paul Tobias. Hello. This thing is so wide you can like totally get us both, right? Oh yeah, it's like probably about half my but at least that's why I'm good. We're just doing fun experimental stuff this episode, kind of getting out of studio as we like to do every now and then. Um, because we can, and because we're trying to do some innovative new stuff for uh, the next season and kind of like beta testing some equipment here and uh, figured, hey, what better reason then to go down to Santa Cruz uh, or, or just outside of Santa Cruz to, to meet the folks over at, I uh, see, I just said folks. I'm a, that's how you know I'm a hippie, I said folks. So uh, we're gonna meet the guys over at uh, Quad Shot. Um, because get this, I, uh, I finally took my quad shot out. Um, you know, as you guys know, like we've been helping those guys out with the, their Kickstarter initially, and that we had them on the show. And I'm like fascinated with the whole like, you know, uh, remote control and avionics and um, and uh, Arduino based autopilots and all that cool stuff. So, so I finally took mine out. And as the video proves, I kind of suck as a pilot. Well. Um, Part of it, I think, has to do with the fact, I mean, they've got good directions on their wiki if you're like a professional pilot, of which I am not. So we're gonna help each other out. We're gonna do a little video with them on uh, how to fly. So Darren's going to flight school. And um, so I get to learn to fly and they get a cool video to show their audience how to learn to fly. And, and it's uh, all fun. So hope you guys enjoy this. And then, uh, of course, we're back in the studio for some other bits and stuff. But I uh, just wanted to throw it out there and uh, see how you guys are doing. Let us know in the comments. And it looks like we're coming right up on them. So see you real soon at the Quad Shop place. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm a walking camera. Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Tell me about that. What What am I even oh, looking so, at? Oh, so so uh, basically the uh, they, in Joby Energy they started with um, with this uh, um, rotary one. So the, you see this chandeliers. Mm -hmm. there? So yeah. this was turning, and there was a tether on it. Yeah, like this is one so of the very first. Ones. Very first ones is this tiny one. Okay. This, this like green a, one? Right here? The one with the two red airplanes on poles. So oh, wow. think of it as like a helicopter without the body of the helicopter, just the rotary part. So you've just got two helicopters opposing each other on a just, spin just, uh, Two just airplanes two flying airplanes in a circle. Flying in a circle. Yeah. And, uh, and, the, and that generates lift and, and all that? Yeah, so the wind would catch it and make it spin like a, and uh, it would, and then the actual little electric motors on the airplanes themselves would generate the electricity. Because if you spin an electric motor, you backwards get power, you get, you get power it's out. a generator yeah all right well let's, should we go see the shop yeah, yeah. Sure, sure sure let's go yeah this is another part of the incubator which is going to have this is a garden <laughs> north coast is that is that a uh is that like a politically correct term for uh hippie farm or something <laughs> well, i don't know uh, <laughs> i wouldn't call python a hippie yeah <laughs> or, um, Oh, wow. So this is where they're made? This is where... where well, not the, the... You've already had the molds done and whatnot, but... This is where the, the assembly, assembled? This is where the assembly happens. Nice. So we glue on the, the boxes onto the spars like that. Mm-hmm. And then the so basically we have wings glue on. To make sure everything lines up when we uh, glue the boxes and spars together. 
So what do you get from the factory? Just just these plain? Just those yeah. plain, yeah. Those plain and the boxes. There's a box there you can see. This guy. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, that's and then we have that's the awesome. Jig yeah, just where you like this. this that guy one. screws into that, and the and the rails catch there, and then you put the the spar. It holds the spar, and so it holds the glue in while it's and holds it lined up while it's. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that. Like that. Oh, nice. And so you know everything fits right and it's yeah, in the right and spot. Yeah, it's centered and everything like that. Yeah. Yep. Just the markers yeah. should align here. Yeah, like that. And then, then you are, you're good. So and then they are glued together like this. Uh huh. Wow, you guys do like all of the nitty gritty stuff. Yeah. I mean, like I, I figured, uh, I figured that you guys were having, um, you know, a shop of assemble these and do the molds and everything. No, well, so one, our original plan was to do that, but um, because the we spent so much time getting the, the wing molds done, um, we felt like it would be faster for us to do this first batch. So the next batch that we do, we'll, we'll outsource the assembly. Okay. Because Chris would kill us because he's been ended up doing the vast majority of the assembly, and uh, we don't want him to do that. <laughs> but so he's gotten so awesome at it. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, for now, this is how, it, how we go. Well, what's so we the go first run? So like a thousand yeah. units or something? No, it was uh, four, three or four hundred, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five hundred sets of parts, but we're selling some But, but each one is made with love. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yes. So, but yeah, so the wings get glued in, the wires get, get pushed in and run, and run. There's like wire channels mm -hmm. that hold all the wires on the inside. Uh, and, and he's just pushing them through. There's a little hole in the box that they go into. Oh wow! And the motor controllers are glued on. Um, and then through there, and they come over here. And, and there's no like cheap hacks that you have to pull in assembly to make a thing work. There's Everything came together. Hacks. There's always cheap hacks, yeah. But we figured out most of them. So then they, yeah. Yeah. So then this is kind of before the next step. So all the motor controllers are in. All the mo all the wiring ends up in the middle. The LEDs are in, and then on the back, the um, the covers are glued on or glued in. Mm -hmm. this is where except the for the widget. Goes. Yeah, except for the widget. Yeah, and we call it doodad. The doohickey. The doodad. Yeah, the doohickey. Um, so then from here, um, we cut these to length and solder in like the, the battery adapter, and then put in the put in the, the Leo brain, and plug everything in and solder the um, the LEDs. This is just like the. This takes all four LEDs and puts them into one spot, so they they can connect to Leah in one spot and the power in one spot. Wow! And they have this switch on yeah. there because the the, the Leah is controlling is turning the LEDs on and off. Huh? So. And so, what uh, on a good day is your kind of output or throughput? <laughs> of uh, let's uh, say between ten and twenty a week. Yeah. Wow. It's uh. It takes a lot of time. It takes, it takes some it takes time, and we it's all like and we you, yeah. you can ask some of the um, people that have kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, like after the first people got their kids, their comment was like, "I think I now understand what your guys going through." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they take a couple hours. Well, because the the mocha the comes all together, yeah. but right. the, which one's the one that uh, comes as a kit? Um, yeah, espresso. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I was uh, I actually started reading the espresso wiki page, not the mm -hmm. mocha wiki page. Yeah. So I'm like. Wait, I have uh -huh. to, and then what? And then I'm looking at mine, and I'm like, no, that's uh -huh. already done. Yeah. And I keep going. And I'm like, that's already done too. Uh -huh. yeah. So I'm like, I must be on the wrong page. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was very thankful I was on the wrong page. <laughs> How did you? Uh, what did you think of the manual? That was another. So yeah, we also were writing the manuals. We're like moderating the forums. We're sh boxing and shipping out. Parts. I I just had the hardest time finding. Um, I, I finally found the secret sauce was like, you know. Don't touch it. Leave it with the the everything centered. It was it was my trim actually that was messing mm -hmm. me up. I kept on, it was just blinking. Yeah. And I was like, why is it still blinking? And then I finally yeah. find like, here are the four things that need to come together yeah. before you can actually take flight. Yeah. And uh, for me, it was the trim. Yeah. So it's like as soon as I did that, everything came together, and then it was like, oh my god, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's what we hope. I can we crash can this can now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can clear that up today with the video and show. We definitely want to show like when you first turn it on. If the trims are off, it'll blink at you, and these are what these are how you center up all the trims cool. and get it. Well, I'm just going to pretend that I'm a moron, which is kind of easy to do, <laughs> and then you can teach me, and then if you can teach a moron, then you can teach anyone. <laughs> all right. Well. Cool. Let's let's so, do it. But yeah. Um, 
You want to grab a new like mocha out of the box, or do you want to start yeah, with a cappuccino one, and do assembly? Up, we have one that's upstairs. Uh, that is in the box, basically how it comes yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. delivered. Yeah. So. And then here's this is uh, something else we're working on. Oh yeah, that looks multi hot. Multicopter with a GoPro. Oh, I like it. What's the uh, lift capability of that? That guy. Uh, that is. Oh, well, we designed it basically it like to carry around a two and a yeah. half kilos or so payload. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Something yeah, like that, but it's designed to kind of fly nice and easy with a like a GoPro or like something a little bit bigger. Right. So anyway, after that, basically we go ahead so collect all those power wires into this main battery pigtail. Uh, you know, all these lights, t uh, light wires are soldered in, uh, and on the back we go ahead and uh, install the receiver. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we pre-bind them with the transmitter that's going with this vehicle. So all the transmitters are serialized and programmed because we program yeah. the transmitters with our own firmware rather than leave it with the factory firmware. Nice. Uh, because they just work better that way. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so yeah, all these are pre-bound. Everything is serialized, transmitters and receivers and leases. So everything that goes to a vehicle belongs to that vehicle, essentially. Yeah. Uh, so that, you know, when you receive it, you don't actually have to go through and bind it or anything. Or, it's supposed to or so that box. you could fly two quad shots at the same time. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. <laughs> in IT, it's challenging enough when your team is working in the same office, let alone when you're supporting members remotely. And that's why you need Go to Assist by Citrix. You can take control of your entire IT world from one simple cloud-based platform. With Go to Assist, you can keep all of your systems up and running while keeping all of your users supported. Provide live or unattended support from anywhere, even from an iPad. And with Go to Assist monitoring, you get customizable dashboards displaying like performance of all of your networks, servers, desktops, plus proactive alerting that'll let you fix those little issues before they turn into that huge headache making you look like a hero. I know I worked as a sysadmin for 10 years in the DC Beltway area, and 90% of the time I telecommuted from Williamsburg. Let me tell you, GoToAssist has saved my bacon on more than one occasion, and it just took minutes to set up. I remember actually ditching my old finicky solution soon after my first session. It just does the thing and gets out of the way so I can focus on doing my thing. So check it out today. I know you guys are gonna love it. You can get yourself a special 30-day free trial just head over to gotoassist.com and click the try it free button and then use the promo code HAK5. That's gotoassist.com with promo code HAK5.